Hip adduction passive range of motion. The zero position is this line connecting ASIS. It's going to be perpendicular to the anterior midline of the thigh or the femur. So uh, just like abduction, if we find ASIS, we can have the patient go ahead and put your thumb right there and then right there. So the patient can help us to identify that imaginary line connecting ASIS. I'm going to move this hip out of the way. And then we're going to bring the left hip into a deduction. So you can see right about there, you start to get a bit of depression of the ipsilateral pelvis on this side. So that's the end of the range. We're going to maintain that end range position. Since the pelvis did depress on this side, we allowed that substitution to occur. And we're just going to account for that by changing the alignment of the reference arm of the goniometer. And then our distal moving or indicator arm is going to be parallel with the thigh or the midline of the femur.